Health officials in England have issued a stark warning to the government about the welfare of people living in coastal towns like this. Despite this pretty picture, you're more likely to suffer from a chronic disease, mental illness and have a shorter life expectancy if you live here. And unless the government develops a sufficiently ambitious strategy to fix the problems of seaside communities, the officials say their problems will only get worse. Many of us dream of living by the sea, but while coastal towns in England have been busy in the pandemic, they've been overlooked in the age of foreign holidays. The economic decline of towns such as Clacton-on-Sea has caused serious health problems. A landmark report says that people on England's coasts live shorter lives in poorer health. Traditional industries have gone, whether that be fishing, whether that be tourism. Parents in particular are really worried about their children because the children either have to move out of Clacton if they want to get work or commute a distance if they want to get work or get what is in fact fairly sort of poor, poorly paid work locally. Um, similarly, a lot of the children are really, really enthusiastic at school, but we find that they lose their aspiration, they lose that drive. Here in Clacton, they have the UK's second most severe concentration of mental health problems. Excess tourist accommodation is often used by local authorities as cheap housing for vulnerable people. England's chief medical officer found the incidence of heart and kidney disease in coastal towns is 10% higher than the national average and they have proportionately fewer doctors caring for people here. 60% of people who earn under £10,000 a year have depressive symptoms. 10% of people who earn £50,000 or more have depressive uh, symptoms. The figures almost speak for themselves. Solution, I think, jobs. But not just jobs, good jobs. It's something that another public health specialist, herself from a coastal community, really recognises from her own childhood. When I was at school, a few of my friends became teachers, but I mean, relatively few people went on to university. Do I believe that everybody I went to school with was just not as bright as the people from the nicer, wealthier parts, which tend to be inland? Clearly that's not the case. Often we think that living by the sea is better for our health and this report agrees. You're less likely to have air pollution and the easy access to open space is beneficial to our mental health. But sadly, these benefits don't outweigh the disadvantages for many people who actually live here. Ty Genwright, Euronews in Clacton-on-Sea.